Most of us think the world's most advanced humanoid robots are made in America or Japan, but not quite. Deeper in the heart of Russia, there's a factory making machines so real, they can fool your eyes, and perhaps one day your heart. They're not bolts and wires on wheels. We're talking about robots with wrinkling skin, eyes that track, and facial expressions so natural you'll forget they're not human themselves. And here's the kicker. The way this factory makes them is more bizarre than you can imagine. By the time I'm through, you'll know exactly how they do it and why it might determine the fate of human history. Imagine a massive factory on the outskirts of a Russian city. From the air, it appears to be an aircraft factory or a military facility. But rather than jets or missiles, it makes humans, or at least the world's best copycat. This is Russia's largest factory producing humanoid robots, the size of several football fields, every square inch buzzing with activity. Engineers in white coats peer over magnifying glasses, fiddling with microcircuits. Artists sculpt silicone faces so real, they add freckles, wrinkles, and teeny tiny pimples because perfection never looks human. Programmers type quietly at banks of computers, installing artificial brains capable of mimicking you and me. But the real alchemy begins before a single wire is ever attached. The design process begins with observation. The team observes real people for days, sometimes weeks, not just recording faces, but the way bodies react to emotion. A woman laughs, her shoulders jerk up, her head moves back, her eyes blink for a fraction of a second. A man receives bad news, his jaw clenches, lips purse, eyes drop to the ground. Every movement is captured in high definition from multiple cameras. Why so much data. Because the human brain is a flawless lie detector, we detect when something is off. If a smile lingers a little too long or a blink is out of rhythm, our brains instantly recognize, this isn't human. That's the uncanny valley. Avoid it is the ultimate goal. These engineers are not merely imitating the idea of humanity. They replicate the very movements of specific individuals. Of course, lifelike motion is useless without lifelike thought. At the heart of every robot is its AI brain, an advanced neural network emulating conversation, emotion, and reason in real time. This isn't a scripted database. It hears, it interprets, it responds. You walk in looking tired, your voice flat, your gait slow. It says, rough day. Not due to a pre-programmed trigger, but because it has learned such patterns indicating fatigue. This AI has been trained on millions of hours of human-to-human -human conversation, emotional exchanges, and even silent body language. Its function isn't to win debates or recite trivia questions, it's to make you feel understood. That makes these robots perfect for roles where empathy is most critical, hospitals, where reassurance heals as much as treatment, schools, where students thrive when they feel heard, customer service, where a calm, understanding tone can diffuse frustration. Unlike humans, these robots don't tire, stress, or lose patience. That's where Russia's methodology really shines. In the US, Japan, and Europe, companies intentionally keep back from realism to avoid discomfort. They might get the face right but leave the hands looking unnatural, or make the voice slightly robotic so no one confuses it with a human. In Russia, the idea is the opposite. If you're creating a humanoid, make it flawless. And that means every pore on the skin, every individual hair growing one by one, tiny capillaries under a thin veneer of silicone so light passes through exactly as it does human skin. Some of them have a faint odor, perfume or cologne, subtle enough to trigger the brain's connection between smell, memory, and trust. For believers, this is the natural progression. Why do halves when technology can achieve perfection? For companionship, care, or medical treatment, realism deepens the emotional connection. Critics call it a slippery slope, blurring the line between man and machine, risking manipulation or emotional disorientation. The factory's attitude is plain. This is the future. We'd rather build it than chase it. And their plan goes far beyond Russia. The goal isn't a few hundred luxury models for the upper echelon. It's mass production. The founder talks of a time when any home could have a humanoid assistant. Wake up to coffee already brewed, your day's schedule set, your elderly parent checked on by friendly video call, all while the robot cooks, cleans, and deals with little things in life. They could be working in hospitals as tireless nurses, never missing a dose, never resting, never letting tiredness impact care. Within schools, they could adapt lessons to the individual child's style and pace. In disaster zones, they can travel where people can't to save survivors, bring relief, administer treatment without endangering human lives. Dunyasha. Hidden behind the glass of a bustling Russian cafe stands a figure you might initially mistake for a young woman on duty. She smiles, nods her head to one side, and offers you a coffee. But this is no ordinary barista. This is Danyasha, a hyper-realistic humanoid robot created by the Russian firm Promobot, launched in 2022 as part of a bold experiment in robot human service. Her face is crafted from soft, lifelike silicone, with subtle skin textures, delicate eyelashes, and eyes that track you naturally as you chat. Behind that well-crafted front is an advanced mechanical skeleton that allows her to nod her head, wave her hands, and flex her facial muscles with an uncanny realism. Every blink, every shift of expression feels deliberate, almost human. Danyasha is more than a visual 
Gugo. She takes orders, accepts payment, and delivers coffee, ice cream, and soft drinks, all without a human hand behind the counter. Her programming allows her to chat informally, spin brief anecdotes, and even take photos, turning what would otherwise be a routine transaction into an event to remember. She can change languages at will, making her just as happy serving tourists in St. Petersburg as locals in her hometown of Perm. Promobot refers to her as part of a cyber cafe concept, a marriage of robotics, automation, and hospitality. The goal isn't to merely replace human staff, but to create a point of fascination, a living demonstration of how far humanoid robotics have come. And for those who meet her, the gap between novelty and the future begins to fade. Standing opposite Dunyasha, holding a cup of coffee, it is difficult not to wonder if this is merely a glimpse, a small smiling introduction of how service work, and perhaps human interaction in general, may be revolutionized in the near future. Robosi, Promobot states its humanoid robots have the most micro expressions ever on a machine that looks human. Among them is one of its most iconic builds, a Schwarzenegger look-alike robot. The resemblance is ghoulish. From jawline to recognizable smile, it mimics the actor governor with eerily precise accuracy. The robotic doppelganger has been unveiled at big international forums, such as the Synergy Global Forum and the Consumer Electronics Show, CES, where it attracted huge lines queuing to witness its antics. It can move eyes, eyebrows, lips, and neck with millimeter precision, talk naturally while exhibiting over 600 variations of facial micro-expressions. The trick is unbelievably convincing, so convincing that some in the crowd had to be reminded they're looking at a robot. To make it this real took a giant technological leap forward. Promobot engineers came up with and patented a new face structure that could emulate infinitesimally small muscle movements. They complemented this with cutting-edge artificial skin technology, which created a soft, yielding surface that creases and flexes like the real thing. Combined, the systems allow the robot to create subtle, human-like reactions far beyond programmed gestures, but the very same realism that stunned crowds also caused controversy. Schwarzenegger's image was used without permission, leading the actor to sue for $10 million. He also asked for an injunction against the use of his image at any future exhibitions. Despite earlier calls from his representatives for exhibitions to be stopped, the Schwarzenegger robot continued to be unveiled at public exhibitions, fueling the court controversy. This case has become a celebrity cautionary tale of intellectual property issues in the era of hyper-realistic robots. As robots become capable of replicating real human beings to perfection, consent, ownership, and the ethical boundaries of resemblance replication have come sharply into focus in legal and technological debate. For its part, Promobot asserts that such creations are built in an effort to advance the art of human-robot likeness, not to infringe on human rights experimenting with even more sophisticated facial control systems and human-like materials. Whatever the outcome of this court case, the Schwarzenegger robot has already made its mark, not merely as a technical achievement, but as a trigger for a much larger debate about identity, technology, and the future of human impersonation. Arty. At first glance, she's just your average robot at an event. She smiles, nods her head of course, and gives you the eye. But she's not human, she's Arty, a realistic humanoid robot created by the Dubai-based company RDI Robots. Arty is designed to look and move as much like a human as possible. Her skin is constructed of soft, supple silicone that looks real under any light condition. Her eyes sparkle naturally and follow people as they move. Small motors embedded within her face enable her to blink, raise her eyebrows, and smile with smooth, natural motion. Arty's main purpose is to be the star of the show of Robo Show, a live show where robots interact directly with the audience. In it, she doesn't just stand there, she talks to people, sings songs, reads fortunes, performs tiny magic tricks, and even speaks in multiple languages. Her voice is smooth and warm, and she can modulate her tone to suit the conversation. RDI Robots created RD not just to showcase what robots can do, but to revolutionize the way people perceive them. She's not just technology, she's designed to entertain, connect, and make people smile. The company aims to showcase that robots don't just have to be work machines, they can be part of live shows. When you meet Artie, it's not hard to forget that she's a robot. Her movements, her expressions, and manner of speech feel so natural that you soon find yourself responding to her as though you were talking to a real person. That is what RDI Robots is aiming for, a future when robots are not just machines, but characters and friends whom people would want to surround themselves with. Chinese robots. Under the neon glow of a packed technology display in China, a row of figures stands still. At first, they are indistinguishable from fashion models, poised young women in designer gowns, waiting patiently for the show to begin. Shiny floors reflect in the light, cameras flash in the background, and the audience stirs. 
Then, one of the figures slowly brings her head around, her gaze sweeping a visitor in the crowd with a smooth, deliberate motion. It's subtle, so natural you might not notice if you weren't looking hard. That's when it hits you. These are not human beings. They are the latest version of hyper-realistic humanoid robots, designed to the sole purpose of blurring the line between man and machine. For an instant, you might be excused for losing sight of which is which. Every detail is measured. Their skin is made of soft, medical-grade silicone that reflects light in exactly the same manner that living skin would. Each hair follicle has been implanted singly, and the faces have been hand-painted to include the flaws that make someone appear alive, the sheen of gloss on the lips, the soft shadows beneath the eyes, the way highlights change with the angle of the head. But the deception doesn't stop at the surface. Under the realistic skin, a servo system, actuators, and precision components replicate human micro-expressions, the subtle smile, the inquisitive tilt of the head, the slow, contemplative blink. They're not test models. They're intended for public use, to be approached, spoken with, and interacted with. Some can continue simple conversation, answer questions and greet visitors with clear, friendly voices. Others are intended for service use, party greeters, product demonstrators, accompanying visitors through an exhibit, or even assisting in customer service scenarios. In this kind of venue, such as this exhibition hall, their function extends beyond purpose. The event is as much a demonstration of technological achievement as it is a display meant to inspire awe. Each interaction, a handshake, a laugh shared, a winking aside from a robot, is part of an intentionally crafted experience. And as people step in close phones held high to capture the moment, something in the air changes. The concept of the future changes from abstraction to reality. It's not a promise of what in 10 or 20 years might be. In this crowded hall, amidst the ring of clicking cameras and the hum of odd tones, the future stands right in front of them. Casbot W2. Lingbo has designed a unique humanoid robot, Casbot W2, which could change the way automation is approached in different fields. Such would make it suitable for use in logistics, warehouses, and when tasks necessitate high level of accuracy. Modern sensors and cameras on the robot enable it to adjust effectively to varying conditions as well as overcome different hurdles that might come its way. It works perfectly within confined spaces, with a height of 160 centimeters and weighing 60 kilograms. This implies that it can jump over an obstacle of up to 30 centimeter high and be able to lift an object weighing up to 5 kilograms. The battery life of this robot is about 4 hours on one charge only thereby not requiring frequent recharging for task accomplishment without interruptions. Its design features highly accurate sensors that guarantee the precision of its operations. As claimed by Lingbo Company, using such robots as Casbot W2 will remarkably enhance operational excellence in such areas as logistic, assembly, or production. Even mobile order fulfillment can be handled by this tool. It costs $155,000 per unit. Pudu D11. The Pudu D11 is a sophisticated service robot developed by Pudu Robotics, designed to enhance operational efficiency in various environments such as restaurants, hotels, and retail spaces. Standing out for its autonomous navigation capabilities, the D11 can maneuver through crowded areas while avoiding obstacles, making it highly effective in dynamic settings. It is equipped with an interactive interface that allows for user engagement, enabling it to communicate effectively with customers and staff. One of the key features of the Pudu D11 is its ability to transport items safely and efficiently. Whether delivering food in a restaurant or carrying documents in an office, the D11 streamlines tasks that typically require human intervention, thus reducing labor costs and improving service speed. The robot's design is not only functional but also customizable, allowing businesses to tailor its appearance to align with their branding or operational needs. Additionally, the Pudu D11 incorporates advanced AI technology that enhances its learning capabilities, enabling it to adapt to new environments and tasks over time. NIO ET9 In the world of electric cars, NIO's ET9 sedan has attracted a lot of attention due to its innovative features. One of the most remarkable features of this car is that it can remove snow from its roof like a dogwood by shaking itself thereby eliminating the need for a snow brush. For example, in one recent showcase which featured its chassis and hydraulic suspension, the ET9 swiveled sideways to get rid of snowy crusts without any assistance or support. Take care and secure all loose items in your cabin, e.g. that coffee cup before your car starts shaking lest you get yourself into an awful mess. This was indeed the height of luxury and sophisticated technology when it came out last year towards year end. It boasts quick acceleration as well as strong performance thanks to its dual-motor drivetrain producing 77 horsepower. That said, however, under deck hides an engine. Well, actually beneath bonnet and hood. Equally, it has a 120 kilowatt-hour battery that can go for 255 kilometers before recharging in five minutes. It costs about $110,000 at retail, which shows how innovative the design is to NIO. 